I'm doing my maintenance and I open it up and I notice that this screen, oh, it wasn't set. So now let's check the battery. Because usually when it loses its settings, the battery is no good. One lead there, one lead there. Okay, we have 14 volts on this battery. I'm gonna hit start. Bad battery. So I gotta swap it. It's just a battery charger keeping it full. That's tightening. Good, that's loose. Battery just went bad. They seem to only last three years on these things, so. Right, let me go grab a battery. So I cleaned out the all the dirt and dust and everything in there. So let me pop my new battery in. That's tight. And it's off. So first thing first, I'm gonna put a little terminal protector on. Move this here, bring positive to this side. I think the fluid was up front. Whatever. As long as I don't ground anything out while I'm doing this, I'll be okay. Bzz, bzz, bzz. <laughs> Good. Now, the neutral. down. I'm going to give it another spray, but over the terminal and the connector just to help prevent corrosion. Now I'll put these caps back. They just help keep dust and debris off. Hopefully the battery's fully charged and ready to go. There you go. Alright, but one thing to always do before you actually walk away is I'm a firm believer and scratching November of 19. Scratching that off. If I got the December, I mean, who cares? So I had the other one I did in 16. The, uh, what I remember finding the battery previous exploded. But I did it in August of 16. This one now of 19 of November. So this way, at least I know every three years or so, to refresh. Till next time, I'm out.